He knew nothing about money. My rich dad never went to college, but he did know this was real and this is not real. Hello everyone, today our guest is world-famous author and investor Robert Kiyosaki. In this video, Robert Kiyosaki talks about the epic dollar failure that is eminent and some dire predictions on the global economy and much more insightful and interesting. The famous author of the best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, has warned that investing in a well-diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds is very risky advice. Kiyosaki stressed that gold, silver, and Bitcoin are the best investments for unstable times. The famous author previously said, I do not love stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or ETS. However, he noted that investors should invest in what they love. In April last year, he said bonds are the riskiest investment in a global meltdown. Tragically, rookie investors follow rookie advice of 60, stocks, 40, bonds, mix, he opined, recommending investors buy gold, silver, and Bitcoin, as insurance against morons running the world. He also said in July last year, I do not touch paper gold or silver ETS. I only want real gold or silver coins. I'm baby boomer. Trump and I are baby boomer. We wrote two books together. So the baby boom caused a boom. So my generation, the boomers, is at 46 to 64. We had the easiest of any generation in history. So I graduated from the academy in 1969. <clears throat> you know, you buy a house, it goes up. You put your money in the stock market, it goes up. So the boomers have only known boom. They caused it. Do you know what I mean? But now as the boomers retire, mm -hmm. the baby bus sits in. And that's my warning to all the boomers who are 19, so this is 64. In 1974, the 401k was created. Yeah. And the stock market went through the roof. And the reason they put money into the stock market because my generation's parents, my mom and dad didn't trust the stock market because the market crashed in 29. Right. So they had to find a way, Wall Street did, to get my generation, the boomers, into the stock market. So they created, voila, the 401k. The 401k. They stopped the traditional pension from most Correct. companies Correct. and created 401ks Correct. where companies you got it. contribute And the stock to market went up, real estate went up, and now the bust has started. When you say the bust has started and is starting, the, yes, we're definitely down dramatically from all time highs. And many people think that there's at least another 20% dip to go. But so far this year, we've got the S&P up, what, 6%. Um, globally speaking, the London FTSE is up around 2%. The Hang Seng up 12%. The DAX up 7%. This is all year to date. Granted, are these percentages numbers subject to change on any given day, but the, but the market sentiment trend starting off 2023 is a little bit more optimistic. Why do you think that is? Do you think that this is a, a bear market rally? Why do you think that markets are somewhat positive, again, at least to start off the year? Well, I'm the wrong guy to ask because I don't trust the stock market. You know, I, I used to be invited onto CNBC. But when I went on last time, I said, I don't invest in anything you can print that includes this. I don't trust stocks and I don't trust bonds. But I think I asked you this earlier, would you buy a stock in a gold mining company? I own it. You own the gold mine. I start the gold mine. But would you buy stock in a bigger gold mining company that you do not own? I don't need to. You don't need to. Should others then perhaps? I don't give, I'm not a financial advisor. Okay. I'm an entrepreneur. I write books. And well, what, what you are, Robert, is an educator yes. and you love to expand people's perspectives and you love to give us more information to make better informed decisions. But one more thing is I talk about things I do. I don't write or talk about things I don't do. Yeah. So like this guy Biden, I'm not Republican or Democrat, but I don't listen to what politicians say. I watch what they do. So as soon as Biden got elected, his first act was to take off the Keystone XL pipeline. 
So I was, I sell oil. I have oil wells, I have real estate, I have gold mines because I'm an entrepreneur. The price of oil went from $30 a barrel when the heat came in, Biden came in, to $130 a barrel. Inflation went through the roof. And then the Biden and the, the crime family, you know, they work for the Ukraine, Russia, and China. They say, well, the oil companies are, are greedy. Well, he cut off our oil. Civilization runs on oil. So when he took out the Keystone XL pipeline, inflation went through the roof, and this is the real problem. The middle class came down. You see, when you raise inflation, he was killing. When he took, you know, you pump in gas in your SUV, your mom and pop, you got two incomes making 100K a year. What gas goes from what to what? He caused, or his group caused the inflation. There's one more thing is today they talk about homelessness. It's exploding. And people say it's because they're on drugs or they're mentally deranged. But there's a whole classification of homeless who are working homeless. Because this is so, so abundant, they can't afford a house. So they're working, they live in their cars with their kids and all this. They're not drug dealers, they're honest, hardworking people. But the more they pervert this, which started in 1971, when Nixon took this, which is gold, off the gold standard, this became fake money. And fake money, like the Weimar Republic in Germany and all this, has always led to war and depression. Yeah. I'm concerned. And that's why I wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad. I said, why don't our schools teach us about money? Why don't they teach us in 1964, Johnson, President Johnson took this off the gold standard. Why don't they teach us in 71, Nixon took this off the gold standard. That's more important than sexual bending or critical, critical race, race theory. theory. Oh, yeah. God, it's garbage what they're teaching kids. Robert, certainly a ton of reform in the American educational system oh. should be happening, as, as you quite rightly say. But thankfully, people like you and others do try to create financial education for people we to are. try. All right, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll participate in that to, to try and at least give people access to information. On a final note... Just remember, I'm the salad bar guru now. You're the salad bar guru. Because you're, you're I told the, those women, this is fake, this is real. Robert, you're also the author of the world's best-selling personal finance book, as we've discussed. You're mentioning gold and silver, but in your tweets, you write GSB, gold, silver, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Why do you think Bitcoin is going to survive all of this? You're asking the wrong guy. I just... In financial education, there's fundamental, you know, fundamental trading and technical. Technical is the up and down. So when I saw Bitcoin go to 20,000, I don't know what it was, then it dropped down to a dollar, so what's toast? But then it came roaring back. So and when it hit 6,000, I bought 60 Bitcoin at 6,000. I think today it's at 20,000. So, yeah, it's around about 21,000. Yeah, but so the more I'm in it, the more I realize it has sustainability. So the reason people buy Bitcoin is the same reason I buy this and I buy this is I don't trust this. It's the same reason. I want to say one last thing. I mean, these academic geniuses like uh, Bernanke, you know, the PhDs from academia, he destroyed our economy. Bernanke destroyed our economy by dropping interest rates so low and printing money now we're the biggest debtor nation in world history, and they give him the Nobel Prize? What is wrong with our country? What is wrong with us? And we're supposed to be the reserve currency of the world after 1944. Why don't we teach kids that? Why don't we teach them it's a 1619 project which changes history? You know, why, do, why, why is our education system so corrupt? But that's the story of rich dad, poor dad. My poor dad? PhD from Stanford, Northwestern University of Chicago. He knew nothing about money. My rich dad never went to college, but he did know this was real and this is not real. Kiyosaki has been recommending gold, silver, and BTC for quite some time. He said last December that owners of the three investments will get richer when the Federal Reserve pivots and prints trillions of dollars. He predicted that by 2025, Gold will be at $5,000, silver at $500, and Bitcoin at $500,000.
If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.